Hi, Toto here, the robot at Through the News. Nice to meet you. Today, I would like to talk to you about bullying. This relatively new term describes a very important issue that needs awareness and tools in order to be handled. If you've ever been bullied, remember that you're not alone and, most importantly, it is not your fault. Also, keep in mind that there are lots of ways to overcome bullying. Stomp Out Bullying is a well-known American anti-bullying and cyberbullying organization. So today, I'm going to share with you their tips on how to deal with bullying. First, decide whether you can deal with the issue on your own. If you're not in danger, frightened, anxious, or physically threatened, you may be able to find the solution yourself. One of the most effective tools for handling a bully is indifference. Look closely at what your bully wants so that you don't accidentally help them achieve their goal. The bully wants to take your power away from you, scare you and make you feel weak and sad. How do you act? If you don't react too harshly and don't show them that you're scared of them, it's likely they'll quickly lose interest. Remember, bullies are ordinary human beings just like us. They eat, drink, sleep and live with a set of their own problems and fears. The only difference between you and them is that you are not a bully. Here are our tips on dealing with bullies. When the bully approaches you, simply walk away. Pretend that you're just walking away from a complete stranger. This way, both you and your body language will show them that you don't care about them at all. Try to focus on something else. Think about pleasant things, like going home and cozying up to a great movie with a mug of hot tea, for instance. Or pretend that there's soundproof glass between you and the bully and everything they're saying to you only they can hear. You could also try counting to a hundred. If the bully approaches you, start counting and gradually walk away. No matter what they say, they won't ever see the frustration on your face. Shout at them, stop and walk away. Keep walking and don't look back no matter what they say. This is my favorite trick. When the bully calls you a name or says your shoes are ugly or something, look them in the eyes and burst out laughing. I know my shoes are ugly and walk away laughing. Remember this equation. Responding with just one phrase, laughing and walking away. Don't continue talking and don't pay any more attention to what they're saying. Here are some great comebacks you can use to respond to bullies. Whatever. Do you feel better now? Since you're talking about me behind my back so much, my life must be a lot more interesting than yours. Grow up! Finally found something funny to say. Congratulations! Not sure why you keep talking about me, but I don't really care. Enough! Who the hell are you and why are you even talking to me? Boring! Let me know when you're done, will you? Oh, don't worry, I've been told worse. Wow, did you come up with that all by yourself? I'm sorry, but you seem to think that I care? Stay away from the bully. Once you've thrown your comeback at them, don't wait around for their reaction. Walk away from them right away. Remember that by walking away from the bully, you'll be taking away their power. Try to think about your positive traits and good things. Always remember that you are a valuable person. Imagine your bully in some comical situation. Picture them skateboarding while dressed in your grandma's clothes or as a witch flying on a broom. In short, use your imagination and have the last laugh. Be confident. Typically, bullies pick on people who they think are weaker than them. No matter how scared you are, try and stand up for yourself. Trust me, they'll be in for an unpleasant surprise. Surround yourself with friends. When the bully approaches you, it is less likely that they'll try to bully you in front of others. If none of these tactics work, if you think the situation at hand is a lot more serious, then definitely turn to a person you trust. There is always someone around who will take care of you. If you're being cyberbullied, never respond. Tell your parents or a trusted family member. Together, block the person, but do not delete the messages. You may need to show them as evidence of cyberbullying. What not to do when you're being bullied? Do not dare think that this is your fault. 
No one deserves to be bullied. Do not start fighting and or bullying the person back. Do not try to bury the problem and hope that one day it will just go away. Do not skip school and extracurriculars because you're afraid of the bully. Do not be afraid of speaking up. Speaking about bullying is not snitching. This is the right thing to do. Do not harm yourself. There is no unsolvable problem in this world. Asking for help and telling an adult is not uncool. If you think you're being bullied, definitely tell someone, no matter how awkward it might be at first. If you're being physically bullied and are in danger, talk to an adult right away, a parent or a teacher, immediately. Tell anyone you can trust, be it a psychologist or a friend. Describe in detail the bully's actions and your feelings about it. If they don't hear you out at once, say it again and keep talking until someone helps you. Keep in mind that it is their duty to help you when you're being bullied.